Guys, welcome to the add-on guide for World of Warcraft. In this guide, we're going to cover role-specific add-ons. Um, there isn't really that many role-specific roles that you need to cover. Um, for example, DPS don't actually need anything in particular outside of the normal general raiding ones that we've been through. Um, the only other really one that tanks could possibly do with is assuming you've already got a threat meter. Is tidy plates. However, if you're using an add-on such as the LVOI, like I do, then potentially any other raid frames or anything like that isn't overly needed. Um, healers obviously will need slightly more. I would recommend getting a replacement for your raid frames for all free rolls, um, just because the Blizzard one doesn't give you as much information as a custom one would. There are a lot of different ones you can choose to go with. Um, I use Voodoo. However, again, like I say, there's plenty of different options. Um, Voodoo I use because it is the most detailed one that I've found. Um, it gives you lots of information along with details about what debuffs people have. Um, as a druid especially, it put, allows you to put your overtime heal effects on there so you know exactly who's got what. Um, but it would benefit to have some sort of a UI improvement in that respect. So I'll run down the general settings for Voodoo very quickly. Um, as you can see, I've got two panels that I use. My main raid frames and my tanking raid frame. Um, unless you're healing, you probably won't need this panel down here. You just need your standard. So if I show you what it would look like in a 30-man raid, So you'd have all your normal ones there, and then at the bottom you'd have your two main tanks. Tells you the health, curses, debuffs, whether they're dead. Gives you pretty much everything you'd need. Go back to the settings. The one here you can lock the panels. So if you're in a fight you can lock them so that you're not accidentally moving them. Or you can just lock them generally. Um, uh, just the general inf overview of what you lock in and filter in and stuff. Um, scanners isn't really that important. You can probably just skip over that nice and easy. Um, same with threat and incoming. That pretty much should be set up, ready to go when you first install it. AOE advice. Not overly important anymore. Um, can, it's basically just a advice tip to when you should use your AOE healing. Um, however, it doesn't really give you that much benefit. So again, you can probably skip over that. And your miscellaneous stuff. So with Voodoo, you can set it to change your default unit uh, unit frames. So your player frame, your target frame, etc. Um, you can add individual panels just for them. If you're using something like ELVUI, or you just generally like the standard those ones, then just tell it to leave all these alone. Um, if you are replacing your player frame, you can change that to hide your blizzard one or always enable your blizzard one. Um, completely down to you how you use that. Um, and you can also announce in raid or party chat when you're resurrecting someone. Um, you just enable that and gives you basically a couple of default messages. You can customise them. I don't see the point in needing them. So now into the actual indicators that you get on your bars. So as you can see, mine's got the nice little healer icon next to mine. Um, it would also have tank and DPS icons where appropriate. This is helpful when you're healing because it gives you more of a priority, dependent on how your raid leader sets your actual groups out when you're raiding. Um, some set them as your tanks in one group, healers in another. Some just don't mess around with them at all. This gives you that little bit more information as to who's doing what. And again, you can set out loads of different options. Um, your health bars. So you can set the health bar to be a general green colour and go down through the variants down to red when they're pretty much dead. Or you can just have, you can set it to your class colour and it'll just stay that colour. There's again 
personal preference on how you prefer it. I like to have mine so that I know who's pretty much needs healing more than anyone, just because of a quick glance. But again, completely down to you. Um, clusters, probably ignore that in your setup. Spell tree and bouquets, the same, unless you want to do some actual modification with the um, add-on itself. Just ignore them, they come set up nice and easy. So for spells, you can it'll default set your click in, on your frame to do a certain thing. Um, for example, as a druid, it'll set your left button to do regrowth, uh, right button to do rejuvenation, and all your other buttons just to do general things if you've got them. I don't like to actually be able to click it, I like to be able to target them with clicking them. Um, so all you'd need to do is just write the command target into it. However, you can change that and type in your spell name and it'll automatically go that. So if I click on there, it'll automatically cast regrowth. Um, again, that's completely down to you, whether you, how, you how you set that up. Um, I'd personally recommend just having target as the default one and then your middle mouse button to change the settings on them. Um, if, you, if you'd like, you can set your right button to do something like your instant heal, swift mend or something, um, just so you don't have two buttons to click. But again, customise how you like. Um, the rest of these really are not that appropriate. You can just skip by them. Um, they're set up relatively alright. Buffs, again, you can probably skip through the majority of this um, unless you want to do some proper settings on it with your bars at the back. Um, you can skip through that page. And same for debuffs. You can just skip past them. Um, it's relatively set up nice and easy. Um, with panels section, you can customise individual panels separately. So this is where you'd have your unit frames if you want to change them, um, add more, um, apply the same settings to all of them, and just basically generally set them up however you prefer. So your general settings is pretty much that, just your default basic stuff. Sizing speaks for itself, and bars just gives you information on what textures and stuff you want to use. Um, headers, whether you want to show the panel names or not, the other group names, sorry, or not. Targets, you can actually set to say who's targeting what. Um, helpful for the tank phrase, although you, you don't really necessarily need to have them on. Again, it's down to you. Tooltips, where your tooltip appears on them. Text, where the text in the, in the actual frame appears, so your name, your health, um, what colour it is, so you can set that to your class colour, shadows, and you can also set whether your name and health is shown, or whether it's just the name, um, how you'd prefer to have them, so actual health, percent health, again, set up how you like. The most important one, especially for druids, is your hot icons and your hot bars. So, for example, if I was to cast on myself Life Bloom, mine appears up in there with a nice timer to show me. And if I go through the motions and put everything on, then it gives you a timed indication of exactly when they're phasing off. They do phase colour down, so at 3 seconds, down to 2, there we go, it changes to red to tell you that they're phasing off. Um, now, you, you do that. The actual icons here, so slot 1, I've got mine set up just as a basic one, so above the health, you can set them anywhere, or you can set individual specific squares wherever you prefer them, and the actual size and shape of them. Um, I like to have mine just so that the spell icon is actually on the bars, um, and then just set them up down here, so whichever ones you prefer to have and where you want them. Um, and your hotbars do pretty much the same thing. Um, 
but they're a little bar across the back. So all depends on how you prefer your UI to be when you're setting them up. Um, obviously, DPS and tanks probably won't need all this information on it. It's mainly just for healers, but again, it does help. And then miscellaneous is basically all the other stuff that doesn't come with that. Um, your icons, so for example if I was to set myself a raid icon on, mine appears there, and you can customise that to appear wherever you like. Colours, what debuffs you've got, nice and easy. Um, your modes probably can ignore, powers ignore, and this is where you set your individual icon um, timers etc. So for example you can set it to not have the full duration on. So you can set it only when it appears 9 seconds or lower or just whack the full thing on. And you can tell it to clock so you can see if I repress that do a couple that are a bit easier to see. It will start clocking down when it gets lower and phase out so you can see. I prefer just to have it so that it warnings click the warning down there and your precision so how long you've got until it expires um, but again that's down to you exactly how you have that and your charges basically just the same if you've got multiple ho uh, hots you could put on the same person then that will give you that information um, classes change your class colours which they're all automatically default to s the standard colours raid icons you can set to so that the bar will appear in the same colour that you set your icon. Um, I find that pointless, but again, it's down to you for that. And that's your info on target, so if you've got targets set in your panel, then you can set information on the target. Um, tools, it's basically profiles and stuff, so if you save a main profile, you can set it across everyone. Um, I've got a couple of different ones, so I've got my main one there, and if I show you my tank one, um, you can. It's basically just a smaller one, um, nice and easy to set up. Just a little smaller. I'll log onto my tank briefly so that you can see that once we're done. And pretty much all the other stuff is irrelevant on that page. You can s send it to other people. Um, so if you do want my setup, just let me know and I can send you the code for that. And move is the final, this basically just allows you to move them out, test out your sizing. Um, with 40 man raids, normal party size, or just your current. Add new panels if you want to change your unit frames. Um, and that is pretty much it for setting up Voodoo. Um, it gives you a many customizable options. Um, if I quickly log in my tank, I can show you the smaller version what I have for tank. Um, DPS works pretty much exactly the same way in that you'd only really need a smaller fr unit frames. Um, obviously you're not going to need to put any heals on there because you're not going to be casting any. So it's completely down to you how you set yours up. Once again, if you do want the same sort of sizing and stuff that I use, please feel free to message me and I can send you some code for it. So as soon as this logs in, we'll get the tank one up. So it is in roughly the same place, it'll be over here. There we go. So as you can see, it's a lot smaller, a lot more compact, because you wouldn't necessarily need it. Wouldn't need any heals or anything for a tank. Um, it's just there as reference more than anything else. Once again, thanks for watching, and see you again soon.